I just wanna find all my limits I'ma put everything in it I'm in this life to win it And this is just the beginning Once again, unboxing out of the red corner, Dan Cooksley. And his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, Kelvin Ponting. Three two minute rounds of action, Dan Cooksley in the red corner, Kelvin Ponting in the blue, Ponting in the all red short, Cooksley the black with the red trim. About seven here tonight on Tank Promotions at the Mecca. Seconds out for round one. So here we go, first of three. And it's Ponting that leads with the jab. Cooksley responds to Ponting, turns it into a hook. Both men leading with that left hand. Cooksley pushes forward, brings the right over the top, forcing Ponting to respond with those hooking punches. Cooksley looking to put the pressure on. Punching, nice movement to get out of trouble there. These are arm punches though, these big looping left hook especially. Cooksley looking to work behind that jab again. It's a lively start from both men here. Cooksley pushing forward. Punching looks to hold now. Spence will get in between them. Comes forward, working behind that jab, Cooksley. Ponting responds again with those hooking punches. Cooksley the slightly straighter puncher of the two. And that left hand lands cleanly on Kelvin Ponting. Bobbing and weaving Ponting before he fires back. Looks for that big left hook, looks for it again. Cooksley goes into a little crouch stance before throwing the jab cross just out of range. Ducks under that left hook. Looks for his own left and rights again. Cooksley continues to operate behind that lead jab. Not a great deal between them. Cooksley's trying to command centre ring. Does land with that right hand over the top. Comes forward again, that left hook, and then the big oh. right attempt from Ponting. One of three down, not a great build deal between them. I'll give it to Cooksley for ring control. Corners, 10 seconds. So two of three, the midway point. Seconds out for round two. He touched gloves. And it's the double jab this time from Ponting as he comes forward. Ducks under the response. Comes out fast and hard, Ponting. Cooksley again works behind that jab. But he's pushed back this time. Double jab and then the right. But Ponting gets those hooking punches going in combination. Far more aggressive start to the second round from the blue corner. Cooksley now looks to back him up. Ponting says back at the head there. I don't think it's intentional, I think it's just the way the two men are moving. Cooksley throws the jab once more, looks for the hook. And again, immediate response is these hooking punches from Ponting. Cooksley looks to walk him down once more. Good jab this time from Ponting, straightens up the punch. Stiff jab, reply from Cooksley again, another well-matched even bout this one here at Tank Promotions. Ponting brings the guard up as Cooksley comes forward with a double jab. The straight light right does land. And Ponting looking to get those hooks off once more as Cooksley closes the gap. And each time Cooksley throws that jab, 
Ponting looks to come back with a combination of hooks and that third left landed here. Much better second round for the man in the blue corner. You feel that tiredness just beginning to become a factor in this bout now. And Ponting gets those arms moving once more with the left and right hooks. The straight right reply from Cooksley. Time. Well, that's two rounds down and I thought a much better showing for Kelvin Ponting in that second round. Possibly one round apiece going into the third. You couldn't ask for more from an even match. Seconds out for the seven. third and final round. And straight jab again and then those big hooks from Ponting as he comes forward. Oh, nice right hand counter from Cooksley. I think both corners have told their boxer this is very close go out there and win it fast paced start to the third and Ponting looks to come in with that left and throw the right over the top but just a bit too close for clean work at the moment Spencer gives them every opportunity to work it out but then breaks them big right hand from Ponting doesn't find the target looks for the left of the body backing Cooksley up Looks for the left and right again and just beginning to take over here, Ponting. Big, big effort and it's reaping rewards for him, backing Cooksley up. As I said on my unofficial scorecard, I had it pretty even going into this third. But Ponting for me is making the real effort here to take this last round by the scruff. Backing Cooksley up again, big left of the head. And under real pressure now, Dan Cooksley, from these hooking punches of Kelvin Ponting. Looks to his corner, both are feeling the pace. Ducks under the left hand, Ponting. Steps back, throws the right and the left. Not much left in the tank, you feel, for either man. Oh, tired right from Cooksley. Ponting comes forward, short little punches. Last 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds and possibly this third round has given it to the blue corner here through sheer aggression. And here he comes again. Cooksley looks to respond. It's been Time. a tough, tough bout for both men. For me, unofficial scorecard. Third round was pivotal. And I feel that Ponting's taking it. Let's see how the judges go. Let's have both boxers to the centre of the ring, please. And let's have a round of applause for Dan and for Kelvin, ladies and gents. After three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. We do have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Boxing out of the blue corner. Yes, that third Kelvin round took it Ponting. for Kelvin Ponting, I'm sure of it. Good bout. And let's have a round of applause once more for Dan Cooksley, ladies and gents. That was good. Um, I'm going to come back. I think I'll come back better. Hopefully, I'm going to train harder. Because I don't feel like I was on my back performance today, so hopefully I'll come back strong. Congratulations, Calvin. Quick point. Yeah, quick point. Good point. Liked it. Thank you. Congratulations.